Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to work on a math dilation. Now, a math dilation is a transformation, and uh, those of you who've worked on transformations may be familiar with this kind of idea. Now, but a math dilation is a transformation that produces an image that's the same shape as the original, it's just of a different size. So that's the, um, in this particular case, it gives you the same shape, but a different size. And that's what a dilation does. So it all depends on this number known as the scale factor. Scale factor is denoted by the letter K. Now, if the scale factor is larger than one, what you have the, di the dilation is going to result in what's known as an enlargement. Now, for transformation purposes, oftentimes it's, an enlargement is known as a stretch. It can be vertical, horizontal, etc. Now, if the scale factor is between 0 and 1, then you have a reduction. And reduction can also be thought of as a shrink, whether it be vertical or horizontal. But the bottom line here is when you're work on, uh, working on a math dilation, it all depends on the scale factor and the number of the scale factor will determine if you're talking about a stretching or shrinking. So I'm Jimmy Chang and these are the steps on how to work on a math dilation.